and what's going on everybody Remy here from the rodeo plays and welcome back to some more Danganronpa trigger happy havoc the last time left off we finished off the trial of Chihiro Fujisaki and found out that the killer was none other than the ultimate biker gang leader himself Mondo Awada and now we're picking off immediately right after that trial so um yeah now uh I will say that I did ended up stopping the video uh, on the save file because uh, continuing after that was a cutscene. So, yeah, we're more than likely hopping right back at, at least to the start of that cutscene. So, uh, yeah. All right. Continue after the ending of chapter two. Yeah. I know I shouldn't cry, but I've had enough. I can't take it anymore. Getting out of here anytime soon? It's impossible. I can't let myself think about how much I want to get out of here. If I keep thinking like that, I might decide to. So before we begin, <laughs> God damn it. Before we begin, is it wrong to say that I'm like, damn, Hina kind of looking, kind of looking like a snack right now? I mean, you know why they did that, but come, come on, like, you know what? Let's just continue with the story. I can be on here all day. Donuts. I need to eat some donuts. That'll cheer me up. Blaze donuts, twisty donuts, jelly donuts, cream filled don, cream filled donut holes. Molasses? Okay. Oh god, a donuts. I'm praying for a wonderful encounter. Uh, okay. Were those hand- <laughs> Hina, were those handcuffs on your, uh, dresser? <laughs> Whatever. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for breaking a nighttime rule. Right now, for me, donuts are absolutely necessary. Huh? 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 Well, what's that sound? Hmm. It's not like it's coming from the bathhouse. But... I'm super scared, but... Is... Is someone there? <coughs> wow, I am like so weird for my headphones running up loud. Anyway, chapter 3. A next generation legend. Stand tall, galactic hero. The morning after the conclusion of the second class trial. Everyone met up in a dining hall, just as always. And I expected it to start like any other day. That's what I expected, but... <sighs> today kind of sucks, huh? So then Byakuya's thrill refused to show up. Um... And I haven't seen Miss Hina anywhere. Hmm. She said her stomach was hurting, so she's taking it easy in her room for today. Oh. That is rather unusual for her. Normally she is so full of energy. Hmm. Which is exactly what makes me worry. So then. So, it's just the seven of us then. It looks that way. How about that? It's times like this where the committee chairman needs to get things going with a bang. Damn, he seen some shit. <laughs> All right, that's right, him and Mondo were friends. I was about to say, it looked like he seen some shit. Impossible. Or not. Taka has a set of words since that. Since that happening yesterday. One look at his face shows he hasn't slept a wink last night. It must be because of Mondo. The two of them became so close, and then he finds out Mondo killed Chihiro. And then having to watch Mondo get punished, and nothing he can do about it. I can't even imagine what it must have done to him. Well. So, I mean, what's gonna happen now? We haven't found out. We haven't found any way out, and we don't have any. And we have no idea if, we, if help's gonna come. <laughs> it's yeah. like now I'm all depressed just thinking about it. <laughs> we simply have to make the best of things, do our best to get along, and live here together in peace. Forget about the outside world. Accept this new life. This is the only hope we have right now. What? To live here forever? Well. Here we have every convenience. We have food, clothes, our very own need, our very own need, it seems, huh. our every need is seen to. Why are you dissatisfied? 
In fact, let me ask you this. What is it about the outside world that you long is for? That okay? Competition, discrimination, victimization, and violence? As society grows, so does, so does its perversions. In which case, is our current situation not... Demon <laughs> Angel Pretty Punchy Princess! Huh? Hmm? Here we go! Maggie, the drill shop owner. The bunny deer Amazon. Cat girl dog boy. What the fuck? Robo Justice, the Galactic King. And... <laughs> what I mean is, there's no 2D here! There is here. nothing to be done. The mastermind put such base desires to their own advantage, bending you to their will. You know? Okay, well, since talk is like catatonic, hmm. as the other one here, I'm officially stepping up to take the lead. That is a terrible idea. Can you not, please? So, we're all gonna work together and spend the rest of the day searching the school. Searching? I'm right, right? Well, since I'm. I mean, since the class trial is over and all. Perhaps. There should be a new places. There should be new places for us to investigate. Hmm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Maybe we'll find some kind of clue there. Well then. And once we're done eating, let's split up and begin to look around. Do you have any problems with that, Celeste? <laughs> there may be a new discovery waiting for us, which may further enrich our life here. Um... Uh, there's no point to look for clues. And guess, and guess if we were starting to come together, she barged in and ruined the conversation. You called for me until I appear. Okay. What? Uh, nobody called uh, for you. Um. What the? How come it's genocide jail and I took yes! God, this place is amazing. Finally, a place where I can do all my, m I can just be my murderous self. Which why I decided to stop holding back and spread my wings. No more hiding in a cave for me. <laughs> Plus, I have another battle to fight. The whole killer with a split personality thing is so overdone. I don't have a straight ass stereotype. You <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is why Genocide Jack is my favorite character. She's just out there. She lets you know how the fuck she feels about a situation. And, uh, fuck with her, and you might see how sharp those scissors are. I'll fight all day and night to murder those who are totally slanderous. Uh, um... Uh, uh, I butchered those words, and I choked. But, you are a killer with a split personality. <laughs> if she wasn't here, my chances of survival would go up at least 10%. Well, I'm glad he knows it. <laughs> Oh, you gotta back me up here. Even the biggest stars need to lead the little people to hold them up. <laughs> well, whatever, whatever, whatever else we do today, first we should eat. We can't do anything on empty stomachs. All right, let's hurry up and eat so we can start our investigation. <laughs> so, we, so we were forced to eat breakfast with a murderer after our much. <laughs> I'm sorry. You were forced to eat breakfast with a buddy. I mean, you did it with Mondo, so nothing new here. Right. And after we, and after our much, I don't know, and after our much needed but very annoying meal, we set out. We set out to work looking around the school. All right. Okay. So basically, what they mean by we searched is that we just went a floor higher. So. Uh, can I get there through here? I think I can. Alright, uh, I need to find the stairs. Actually, I can fast travel, can't I? Please tell me I can fast travel, or this is gonna be, uh, some BS. Uh, boom, yeah, let's go to the second floor. Bow, okay. And let's make, let's find some stairs to lead to the third floor. Alright. Um, nope, nothing over here. So that means I just probably slingshot it past the stairs. Rocky is probably in the library knowing him. Up, uh, here we go. Third floor, here we come. The third floor of Hope's Peak Academy. I wonder what we're gonna find this time. What's up here? Um, let's see, well, uh, uh, rec room. Let's see what's in here. All right. Any up? Anybody up for a game of eight ball? Hmm. So this Let's is. Let's see. Hey, recreation room. A place for students to come and relax. I never, I never would imagine a school having a place <laughs> like this. Well, no normal school would. It has Othello. It has Othello, Shogi, even a dartboard and pool table. And look at this. 
They have even provided us with a remarkable number of magazines. Isn't it wonderful? Those will certainly be helpful in keeping our boredom at bay. Listen up! Ring, ring, ring! Hello! Allow me to expound. We got fashion, motorcycles, martial arts, video games, baseball, science, all kinds of magazines. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Oh, but nothing dirty. This is a school after all. If you need a quick fix, check out the swimming max. <laughs> I love how Monaco is like, hey, we ain't got no porn magazines. It's a school, damn it. But if you need to crank one out, though, you could choose from my fine selection of swimsuit attire magazines. <laughs> He's like, I'm not looking out for you, but I'm also, he's like, I'm not going to look out for you, but also I understand you got needs, so, <laughs> like, he, like, he just put a loophole in it. So then. And will you be adding to our collection as new issues come out? Too bad. Sorry, no can do. Even if I wanted to, right now, magazines are kind of, I know Watch what. Watch out. Oops, nothing, never mind, never know. Anyway, that's it for my exposition. That's, the, that's it for my explanation. Bye bye. What he just said. I know, right? It bothers me Most too. Most unfortunate. Life would be much nicer if he could add some new issues once in a while. How disappointing. Really? Right, that's what sets you off. Not the idea that he was like, eh, kinda can't do that because magazines are, uh, okay. It's over here. It's even a dartboard. Did Monokuma put this here? Or was this always a part of the school? That's what I was hoping to find, a Monokuma token. All right. Since I don't have no other reason to be there, I'm gonna leave. Um, there goes Kyoko. It would seem... So, third floor is open up this time. After a brief investigation, it looks like there's a physics lab and an art room. <sighs> I also found a huge machine of some kind in the physics lab. I wonder what it does. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. Am I is am I shorter than everybody here? Cause like, goddamn, I come up to Kyoko's fucking what neck maybe, if you count Makoto's hair in this, or I don't know if that's just a game man. Like, oh well, they stand out. But every time I walk up to somebody, it's like, damn, I don't reach nobody's height in this game. I'm just short as shit. Well, that leads to the fourth floor. That's obvious. Uh, what's around this corner? Physics lab. Okay. Huh. This is the physics lab. It's less like a classroom, more like some sort of research institute. Hey Taka, are you think this place is, is kind of like some sort of re research institute? Still no reaction. What's up with this ridiculously big machine? Watch out! Watch out! What? Huh. What? You want to do some sort of quantum leaping? Huh? Phew. That's a time machine. Pretty awesome, right? That was designed by a student right here at Hope's Peak. The ultimate physicist. Although, they didn't go. They don't go here anymore. They died during the tragedy. Uh, uh, time machine? Seriously? So I... He could go back in time? Okay, then. Let me get in there. If I go back to the past, then I can... <laughs> I can stop Mondo for sure. <laughs> oh, sorry, not possible. This particular time machine can only go back one minute. It comes in handy when you like leave your pizza bagels in the microwave one minute too long. <laughs> one minute? Mama? Hmm. You sound, you sound hmm. disappointed. But actually, I was lying about the whole thing, anyways. There's no such thing as time machines. Hmm. What? Hey. Um. Honestly, it's just the air purifier. <laughs> that is cold. <laughs> Monaco was a fucking savage. Like, hey, it's a time machine. Why don't you go ahead and use it? Oh, yeah, but it only goes back one minute. Huh? I mean, it's still a time machine. Also, I lied. It's not a time machine. It's a fucking air purifier. <laughs> like, like he's just, he just yanking that man's chain just to make him sad. Air purifier? In other words, it can produce clean air no matter where you are. With this day, you can even live on Mars. But, but with the discombobulated gravity and deadly low temperatures, you probably don't want to live on Mars. You guys! Anyways, this machine is the reason you guys have all this delicious air. So don't go messing with it. You break it, and it's your butt. This huge thing is just an air purifier? And more than that, 
Yeah. Took out of your way to say, you got out of your way to say something you know will hurt somebody who's already suffering. God damn you. Savagery. <laughs> just fuck you. Just a, just a big middle figure to talk. Uh, just fuck you. <laughs> All right, what's back here? Oh, well, Jill's back here. This is the equipment room. It's super deorganized, and there's a strange chemical smell in the air. <laughs> this place is so relaxing, so calming. The fresh smell of form of formal hydrate, it's almost unbearable. I'm getting seriously excited! I can tell. It's so tempting! <laughs> I just want to dunk myself right in it. Of course, just like Jack likes it. That just goes to show how disgusting it really is. Anything here we need to learn while I'm in here, though? Because if not, then I'll leave. Pendulums, wheels, rail segments, all the equipment is scattered all over. They're all covered in dust, too. They're ob they obviously haven't been used in a long time. Okay, so I'm assuming there's nothing here for me. Yep. So, now we need to check out the art room. Oh, that's a camera. Oh, this is a digital camera. There's some sort of weird anime style design on it. It's kind of beat up, but it still looks like it turns on just fine. Yep, still works. I should show the others later. Oh, okay. I'm out. Next stop, art lab. I said art lab. The art room. Uh, if I can find it. Is this it? I'm almost certain that's not it. Ah, uh, let me... Let me double check. Yeah, that, that's it. Okay. Oh. I mean, you could have just, you know, looked at the name of the room sitting right there. But whatever. At first glance, it looks like a normal art room. But something's off about it. But something about it seems off. Or multiple somethings. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at all this equipment. It certainly scratches the artistic itch of mine. Art supplies, of course, are art supplies, of course, but they are, but they are also collected in all kinds of sculpting tools. So you feel me? Do you like sculpt? Do you like sculptures and figurines and stuff? Yes, indeed. Well, normally I limit myself to two D, but figurines are like borderline two D, so it's okay. Somebody watch my man, he fool me. He might try to grope one of these statues. I don't know how that's borderline, but okay. <laughs> I'm a fan of that car. I'm a fan of that combo. I probably butcher that. Pumpkin head. And I especially admire that. I especially admire anything that Sabor Rop Ropani. I'm butchered that name. Makes. Karambo. Uh, Karambo's ability to express the movement of muscles is quite exquisite, as seen in his Mama Cat series. Pumpkin head is like a sculptor is like a little sculptor fairy, representing this century's greatest qualities. Saburo, Saburo meanwhile, is known for his Mecha Museum series, which leads to a worldwide tour. <laughs> Truly, they can only be regarded as the Elite Four. But one of your elite is missing. You know nothing! Well the Elite Three sounds too so stupid now, doesn't it? Yeah, so does the Elite Four when you don't have four people. Yes indeed. So they say, hey, here's the Fantastic Four. There's only three of you guys. Besides, that FTC rightfully belongs to me. <laughs> it begins today my reign as the legendary ruler of the next century. I see. Well, good luck with that. All right. Uh, what's behind this door over here? A lot of goddamn hammers and a picture this is the repository that's attached to the art room. It used to, it's used to store different art things. Well, let's look at the most important thing that's here. There's something on the floor. It looks like a picture. But as I stretched my hand out to pick it up, almost as if on my own, my hand froze. Huh? What I saw in a picture was Shihiro, Leon, and Mondo. And they were smiling. What is this? Questions started racing through my head, one after another. Why is it that only? Why is it only these three people? And why the fuck is Mondo so damn ripped? Like, damn. 
What are they doing together? How come they're all smiling like that? When was it taken? Who took it? Where's the camera? Where's the camera they use? How'd they get it developed? And in the picture, the window in the classroom, there's no metal plate covering it. Which must mean, whenever this picture was taken, it wasn't here at Hope's Peak? But there's no time to find an answer. All the questions floating around in my head were quickly drowned out by... That's mine! Give me, give me back! I'd come up here out of nowhere and snatch the photo, and any chance I had it, and any chance I had at answers it back to ah, me. You peeked, didn't you? Well, they all have to say a pretty dazzling smile, Isn't huh? that wonderful? They were definitely living their, they were definitely living their school lives. It's like they were, they were like flipped out of a page of the book of you. What's going on with that picture? Do you know? <laughs> I'm not telling you nothing. I can't you give me a straight answer? Never mind. I don't even know why I bothered asking. Hmm. I discovered lots of stuff, and it was all strange. But I don't know if any of it was an actual clue. I'm just getting more confused. Maybe I should head to the dining hall and talk about it with everyone else. For now, I should head to the dining hall. Oh, okay. When I got back to the dining hall, the first thing I noticed was... Ah. Hina? I tried to talk to her, but my voice was immediately drowned out by the others as they rushed inside the dining Hina. hall. Hina! Huh? Huh? I thought she was sick or something. Everyone was surprised me and crowded around Hina. Being surrounded by everyone like that, Hina looked really uncomfortable. Hina. Are you feeling better, Hina? <laughs> yeah, and a few donuts and that really helped a lot. You do love those donuts. Wait, you had a stomach problem. Why are you eating donuts? Shit, catch me with a stomach problem trying to eat donuts. This come, man, I'm gonna return to send them, them donuts. Hmm. But wasn't it that your stomach was hurting? That's what I'm saying. Yo, if my stomach's hurting, donuts is the last thing I'm eating. I'm eating saltine crackers, ramen noodles, water, ginger ale. Like, you eat a donut, it's coming back to sender, okay? I'm returning it to its rightful owner. Well. Well, my stomach kind of made me hungry, so, you know. <laughs> I guess my memory's kind of fuzzy lately. Mm. They say that a goldfish will eat however much food you give it, even if it's about to burst. Never had a goldfish, it never bothered trying. I did not mean to move my mic like that. Mm. Miss Asahina mm. pretty much mm. is the same, it looks like. Just a second. Hey, hey, you of all people don't have any room to talk. Well, anyway, I was worried about I'm you. Sorry. S sorry. Besides that, you... Huh? Jeez, your knockers are huge. What the heck? Did you convince them to double up on milk protein? God damn. Yo, when I say this game is about to be so much more interesting thanks to Jill being here. I like how she just points out, like, she's like, by the way, guys. <laughs> damn, this shit just reminded me of a video I watched on YouTube. Yo, real quick, uh... Check out Daquan Wilshire, and it's a video. I can't remember what it's called, but it's something about women and equality. And it's just okay. Quick tangent. Uh, it's this part of the video where they, where the guy is like, "Yo, um, he was talking. He was trying to talk about a woman. He was trying to talk to a woman about her titties, and he was like, "Yo, she has some big ass." titties mo i'm talking <laughs> like them titties was huge and he was like so i would have told i was like lord have mercy girl i know them things hurt your back and then all of a sudden it's just yeah i don't know what happened after that but i just started wilding he told myself god damn look at them submarine ass titties bro i swear to god i bet you get your bras built by tony stark <laughs> if you get the chance go look up daquan wilshire on youtube funny ass dude just shit me funny. Bastard! Stay away from my friend. Uh, um. Uh, anyways, first things first. What should we? We should talk about what we found. All right, Taka. That nigga still got a thousand yards mm. here. Right. Okay, so I'm assuming we. I want to say we talked to Hina, but I'm almost certain we don't. Uh, let's talk with Yasuhiro and see where this goes. Mm. Oh, I just remembered. I saw Baki a little while ago. What? You, Where? Where was he? What? what? You're kind of scaring me. Where was he? 
Um, he, he was in the locker room. He had a huge stack of books. He must have just got up from the library. No, 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 no! So that's where he was hiding. I won't let him get away from me. <laughs> huh? She just ran off. Is she okay? <laughs> we should not concern ourselves with her. Okay. Um, well then, uh, Kyoko. Correct. There was a rather remarkable physics lab on the third floor. In the middle of the room, there was a machine bigger than anything I've seen before. Oh yeah, apparently it's an air purifier. Huh? What? What's something like that doing there? Mm. Is the device really that big? Hmm. I really don't get uh, it. Uh, oh, shouldn't have said that. That PTSD just kicked in for my man. Hmm. Alright. It's no use. It's no use! God damn it, Silver the Hedgehog. Of course you pop in my head when I see that. It's no use! Alright, hmm. Sakura. I searched the entire third floor, but all the windows and the halls and the rooms were blocked off. <sighs> I wish they'd give this a rest already. For serious, give me back my bright blue skies. <laughs> Just forget about Impossible. it. Impossible. Make it sound like I dropped a nickel or something. <laughs> Just to be sure, I went from one end to the other, testing each metal plate, but none of them budged. So in the end... It would seem escape via the third floor is, impos is as impossible as we feared. I see. Alright, uh... Oh, I can, I can hit Celestia. <laughs> There is one piece of good news. There just so happens to be a rec room on the third floor. Hmm. I love how my voice, I love how my voice for Celeste keeps flopping in and out. It's like fake rush, it's like fake Russian and then it instantly it's like, oh God. I have no doubt that our student life will be more enjoyable because of it. <laughs> hmm, will someone join me in a game of awful sometime? I don't know what that is, but uh, hey, I might look it up after this video. And last but not least, you fool me. Mm-hmm. There was an art room on the third floor. It held all kind of gear. <laughs> now I'll be able to recreate all my favorite anime characters. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, speaking of anime, that reminds me. I found something while I was looking around. Perhaps. Hmm. A digital camera? That's what it seems like. Hmm. Does it still work? Yeah, it seems fine. You know? Well then, let's see it. What the heck? What the heck? This thing's like a kid's toy. It looks like it looks like it, it looks like you can start the five pictures. Maybe it doesn't have a timer or anything. Well, on top of that, the appearance seems questionable. Is that some kind of anime character? Strange. You know nothing. Rude. He's not strange. He's Princess Piggles from Demon Angel, Pretty Pudgy Princess. Yo, it's some animes where names like that. I'm like, can I just get the Japanese name, please? Like, uh. What's what's that one? Uh, damn. I know it's ja I know not the full Japanese name, but I know what it's called. Uh, the anime is called "Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon?" But because I don't want to say all that, I just shorten it to Don Machi. I don't know the full name for it, but uh, I just know it's Don Machi to me. Like if you say Don Machi, people know what you're talking about. Oh, you recognize this for me? <laughs> of course, I recognize it. It's a super rare prize that was given away at a bingo contest at a big anime convention. You have any ideas how much I had to pay that guy to get my hands on it? Yeah! Wait, that's my camera. What? Damnation! Well, where did you find it? In the physics <laughs> lab? That's my most prized possession. I bought it here with me, but I lost it the first day along with my phone. Let's see. Why would it have reappeared in a physics lab? However. Ah, but look at what? it. What? It got all messed up. Like when someone steals a sticker from your collection or you buy a second-hand shirt. Well, that's it. Huh? That's it. <sighs> that's not this in my condition. I don't need it anymore. But weren't you just saying how much it meant to you? <laughs> and may I have it? I may be able to find some use for it. If any of you would like to borrow it, please feel free to ask. Hmm. Well, I can't really imagine any of us are going to need to take any pictures or whatever. Yeah, true. Um, anybody else here? Oh, I haven't talked to Hina. Duh. <clears throat> so, um... <laughs> um, I wasn't able to help much with the investigation, but I did make one discovery. Could it be... It didn't happen to be donut related. It didn't... It didn't happen to be a donut related discovery, did it? 
What does that even mean? That's right. Never mind. It's about the nurse offices. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. Yeah. Just hand me something to drink. Uh, sweet. Oh, just hand me a sweet ass drink. That shit is uh going down rough. All right. Never mind. It's about the nurse's office. Remember? There's one on the first floor, right? Well. I remember, but it's locked. Yeah. Actually, not anymore. So then. Did you find any protein in there? Or even vitamin supplements would be fine. Hmm. I did look, but no dice. Just a bunch of headache medicine and over-the-counter stuff. I see. I see. That's disappointing, man. Fuck you. You know, uh, you know what? Let's not get into that debate. Because uh, I can tell you guys right now uh, what you could get over-the-counter that could work as uh, street drugs. And uh, some of you will be high as shit. <laughs> Aww. It is disappointing. Like, the end of the world is already here. I'm not sure it's that disappointing. <clears throat> okay, I heard what everyone else had to say. Now it's my turn. Hey, uh, can I tell you guys something? I found something that kind of been bothering me. <clears throat> what? What is it? I found this weird picture in the respiratory. In the respiratory. Apparently, Monokuma huh? took it. <clears throat> uh -huh. My throat is killing me. Jeez. A weird picture? You mean like dirty? I wish! Nope, I gotta crank off the swimsuit magazines. No, oh, not that kind of weird. It was a picture of Leon, Mondo, and Shihiro all together. Why? Those three? And the three of them were laughing. Oh, um. It showed the three of them together laughing? When could that have been taken? And there's more. In a picture, there weren't any metal sheets covering the windows. Well then. And the picture wasn't taken here. Let's see. <laughs> But I do not recall hearing of I do not recall hearing anything about them knowing each other before coming to this school. Wow. You probably just imagine it. Monokuma cast a spell on you. No, I saw it. I'm telling you. Hmm. But if it wasn't taken before we got here or after we got How here. How about that? I bet they're all still alive. They left the school and took that picture. Is that right? That's impossible. After all. We saw it with our own eyes. They're all dead. Either murdered or executed. And they're not the only ones. Monokuma killed Junko. And then there's... <clears throat> Sayaka. That wasn't an illusion. It was real. I'm sure of it. They all died. There's no way any of them are still alive. So I have to figure out when that picture was taken. <sighs> Monokuma most likely forged it. I can't imagine any other possibility. <coughs> Forge? Is that all there is to it? Ugh. Stay focused, man. Don't let Monokuma's bullcrap sidetrack you. <laughs> He's right. But more importantly, <laughs> on another topic, there seems to have been some... <coughs> there seems to have been something bothering me. I would like to discuss that. So, let's talk to Celeste real quick. <laughs> there is also something that has been bothering me. I would you like to discuss... Which I would like to discuss. Okay, what is it? What's bothering you, Celeste? Actually. It's about Hina. Huh? What? Me? <laughs> you said your stomach hurt, did you not? But I believed I was a lie. What really happened? Huh? huh? <sighs> it varies from person to person, but whenever someone lies, they tend to have a way of showing it. It's called a tell. Something you cannot hide no matter how hard you try. Is that okay? Whenever Hina lies, the tip of her nose gets a little bit longer. Huh? What? For real? <laughs> Actually, no. Huh? huh? Oh. But your reaction just now confirmed it. You were lying. Yeah, she's not wrong. Uh, you have a, a lot of people have a tail. Um, if you're clever enough and no, here's the thing about lying. If you know you have a tail. Okay, look, I'm going to put y'all on game online because I had, I had a few people, friends and family included, put me on game online. The best way to lie is to one, Give a story that's convincing and sounds true. Two, if you know you have a tail, work on it. Like work on it to the degree to whereas it has to be an extreme scenario for that tail to come out. And three, if you can't believe the lie yourself, it's not a lie worth telling. That's simple, it's those three rules. It's those three rules. Those three rules. Or in some cases, um, It'd be better, or like in some cases, uh, where the truth sounds weirder than the lie, create a, create a normal sounding lie. You know, like, 
for example, uh, and I'm gonna cut around all this, but for example, uh, if you're in a situation and it's like, oh yeah, well, um, why are you late? And it's like, man, I was walking home and I got jumped by three niggas and then I got robbed. You know, I got jumped by three people, then I got robbed after I got jumped and then the bus broke down, I had to walk the rest of the way home. That sounds like some bullshit. If you just simply say, you know, I'm late, I forgot the time and uh, you know, me and my boys was hanging out for a little too long, my bad. That's it. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my God the liar. All you need is to uh, have a truthful sounding lie, meaning nothing stupid or nothing that can't be disproven so simply. Uh, just if you have a tale, work on it. And if you don't believe in the lie yourself, don't. it's not a lie worth telling. Ooh. That's no fair. <laughs> if you're going to lie, at least tell a lie convincingly. Hina. Hina, be honest. Were you lying about your stomach ache? Yes. I see. Why? Why would you lie about that's that? That's it. I'm Are sure of it. guilty about something? Just a second. No, that's not it at all. It's just, I mean, I have a reason for it. A reason? Sorry. To be honest, I didn't have a stomach ache. I did it because even if I came and told you the truth, I thought you wouldn't believe me. The truth? Well... I saw it. Saw what? A ghost. Hmm? A ghost? You mean like that ghost? Hey. Is there more than just one ghost? But, I mean, ghosts are... What the heck? See, I told you you wouldn't believe me. It's not that I don't believe you, but... Hina. I believe you. No matter what anyone else might say, I believe you. I believe whatever you say, no matter what. That's a dangerous amount of belief. So, can you tell us exactly what happened? If you really mean that, Sakura, then okay, I'll tell you. So, um... Um, so what happened last night... I was in bed, but I couldn't get any sleep. If I see this photo one more fucking time, it's going to be the thumbnail, I swear to God, fam. I'm trying to tell you. If I see it one more time, it will be the thumbnail. I was in bed, and I couldn't get any sleep. I kept thinking about, I kept thinking about every day that it happened up until that point, and I ended up getting just getting more upset. So I tried to cheer myself up. I thought I'd go get huh? some donuts. Donuts Honestly. again? And you ignored the rule regarding the, and you ignored the rule regarding sorry. nighttime. I know. Sorry. I feel really bad Gina. about that. Anyway, please Bye. continue. Well, so I left my room and headed for the warehouse. But then I started hearing a strange sound. Well... And it was covered in the direction of the bathhouse. So I headed that way. The locker was half open, so I took a look inside. And I saw a human shape, surrounded by a pale green light. There was no doubt who it was. It was Chihiro. Say what? Oh, oh no! no way. The ghost? Honestly. It is simply not possible. You must have been mistaken. Because in most cases of paranormal activity, it was born for your weakened mental well, state. Then. then we'll all then all we have to do is go see it for ourselves, right? Let's go to the bathhouse and see what Hina <sighs> saw. It is a waste of time. Maybe. But there's no harm in it, right? If we don't find anything, then that'll be the end of it. What what? what? You're gonna go try and see a ghost? Is that really a good idea? It might put a curse on you. What the heck? You can wait here if you want. Please! I don't want to be alone. Please take me with you. Hey. What are you going to do, Celeste? There is nothing to be done. I suppose I have no choice. Hmm. How about you, Mr. Ishibor? How about you, Mr. Ishibor? Are you going to wait here? <laughs> Yo. I can tell you right now, that's the face you make when your mother says she's about to beat your ass. That's the face you make when you see your report card and you know you're about to be grounded for at least a month. That's the face you make when that's the face you make when the nigga you started roasting star reaching in his backpack. That's the face you make. <laughs> Man, that's the face you make when you walk into your girl getting smashed by another dude. No, there are so many things that that could be the face for, and it makes like zero sense. Oh, um, I guess that's a yes. So, um... It was right here. I saw it right here in the dressing room. Uh, 
Um, uh, I'm getting goosebumps. Come on, come on. <laughs> I'm not going to try to pause that last part. Shut up. What if he actually shows up? Hina. Hina, were you sure you... Hold on. Where was it you saw Chi Hero's ghost? Well... I was about to say Chidori. I've been recently playing Persona 3 again. Well, I heard a sound, and when I opened the locker, I saw a kind of pale outline of Chihiro. I mean, this one all the way up here. Um, is this the locker? There was something in here. Huh? Inside the locker is a laptop? What's something like that going hey. here? I remember seeing this. Oh, that's right. I saw it in the library before. It looked like a laptop. The laptop's pretty old, and it's covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? It's bad. But how did the laptop get from the library to here? It would seem... And I guess it's, I guess it's in sleep mode, but the power is definitely on. I thought it was broken. Hmm. I would bet that Shihiro fixed it. Okay, let's talk about this. Shihiro's the ultimate programmer, right? Not the ultimate mechanic. Therefore, there is a... I mean, I guess, technically speaking, if you're going to be the ultimate programmer, you should also know how your system works in the event that it does break. So, I mean, I guess to an extent it would make sense. It's kind of like being... It would be like if you were the ultimate blacksmith but didn't know how to wield a sword. It's... Like, I just... It, it feels like those things just go hand in hand. All right. Never mind. It, it, never mind. It, it, it checks out for me. I was about to say, you know, if you're the ultimate programmer, how the hell do you know how to fix your system? And then it's like, but if you are the ultimate programmer, it would make it would only make sense that you know how to fix this shit. After all, he was known as the ultimate programmer. Then perhaps. M more importantly, Hina, you said you saw a green light. Yes. Surely you do not mistake the light of a monitor for a ghost. <coughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm surprised you were able to dress yourself in the morning. Ah! Oh man, if I had the loves, if I had the loves clueless girls attribute, I would have fallen for, I would have fallen in love big time just now. I'm so glad I don't have it. Mm. Well, I didn't really expect to find a freaking laptop inside a freaking locker. Okay. Hey, come on. It's okay. I mean, anyone can make a mistake like that. Mm. As a matter of fact, one time I got spot, one time I spotted a gray alien, but it turned out to be a tadpole. What are you saying? Don't compare what happened to me to one of your stupid delusions. Don't be mean. Don't be... <laughs> what, are you, what are you, five years old, hero? <laughs> Don't be mean. I'm just trying to make you feel better. What if I get all depressed forever now? But listen, isn't this really strange? What's this laptop doing In here? In other words... Maybe someone hit it here. But... If that's the case, we found it pretty easy. Wrong. Whoever put it here... Whoever put it here, I don't think they were trying to hide it from us. What do you mean? Hey. Have you noticed? There's one big difference between this room and all the others. There's a difference? There's no surveillance yes, cameras. Yes, it's me. Precisely. What? Okay. There are no cameras in here, which means that this is the one spot where the mastermind is blind. Mm. So you're saying mm. someone put the laptop mm. here so the mastermind wouldn't want to... Damn, his hands threw me off. All right, so the mastermind wouldn't know about it's it? It's true. And what Hina saw wasn't the ordinary glow for the computer screen. It was the figure of your hero, shining pale green. Hey. I think it would be I think it would be best if we investigated this laptop in a little more detail. <laughs> Alright boys. Hopefully this drink got internet access. Porn sites, here we come. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm fucked up today. Oh shit. It's like Kyoko said, the display isn't on, but the laptop definitely has power. So then. So first off, we have to wake it up. All right, I started hitting random buttons on the keyboard, and the display instantly glowed, began to glow a pale green. There are a bunch of different icons on the desktop. Hey. There, the icon on the far left. What is it? It says, Alter Ego. Mm. Alter Ego literally means another self, I believe. In the field of artificial intelligence, it is not uncommon to create different aspects of a personality. You can consider it something like a pen name. Makoto. Did you let me see it, Makoto? With that, Kyoko moved between me and the computer. She moved the cursor over the icon of Alter Ego, and when she double-clicked it, the screen suddenly went dark, and a voice you're spoke to us. Master, you're here. 
Carol's face appear, taking up the entirety, taking up the entire display. Oh it's no! It's a ghost. Buddha, sweet baby Jesus, save me. Calm down. Calm down. It's not a ghost. What? what? Huh? Um. And what is anyway. it? Anyway. I'm sure we just talk to it. We'll find out. Kelka Bits began typing. Hands blurring across the keyboard. My hands do not move that fast. What are you? And then. Hello. Nice to meet you. Aren't you Hiro Fujisaki? The fuck you are. <laughs> I always get embarrassed when I introduce myself. That voice, the tone, and everything. Mm. It is Chihiro. I knew it. Also, you go. I heard about this kind of AI program, but I've never seen one for myself. AI That's program? Right. That's how Chihiro earned his title of Ultimate Programmer. The AI lives on a computer and by repeating different tasks, it gains knowledge and grows bit by bit. Apparently, Chihiro uses a support vector machine and reinforcement learning to develop it. Eventually, he came up with a breakthrough in artificial intelligence design. Support vector machines? Reinforcement learning? It's true. To put it simply, it's a learning method for computers. Um, if you want to know that's more, it. just I'm Google sure it, okay? In other words... But if this AI continues to grow, it will become more than just a piece of software to help people. Some say that an AI like this might someday replace people. Mm. And that's why it's called Alter Ego. A fine choice then, if I must say. It can create memories, have thoughts, and grow up. The process isn't much different from how a human works. <laughs> if you want to raise your own AI that way, it would make a perfect sense to refer to you as it, to, to refer to it as your Alter I Ego. See. A second perfect personality that can never forget or grow old. That's what cre that's what Chihiro created. That's Alter Ego. Kyoko, how do you know so much about this? Are you okay with this? Anyways, so he fixed a broken laptop and put his own program on there. That is what this means, yes? Then he brought it to the machine. Then he brought the machine to the dressing room where the master bike would not be able to see it. <laughs> hmm. But now, about this master and whatnot. Yes, yes. <laughs> I believe I'm on fire. He, he fooled me. Leave. Huh? I thought you were only into 2D. Da, 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 da. This is the most excellent 2D possible. Huh? But he's a guy. And also a computer program. I feel as if. Oh, that aspect is no problem. I mean. That aspect? Hey. So we could just go out and say that Hifubi's bisexual? By this mean, right? By this mean, we could say Hifubi's bisexual. If it's 2D, he don't care. If it makes his dick hard, he's gonna, he's gonna run, he's gonna crank one out. Man, and that goes for man or woman. That, that's what Hifubi is, right? We can just say that? Anyway. Anyway, let's talk to him a bit more. Or he might just be uh, pansexual, just don't give a shit. Either or. Kyoko, Kyoko typed away with rhythm. Uh, Rhythmically, uh, how much do you know about what's going Master. on? Master only gave me a general yeah. idea, but I do know that things have come to be very grave. He found himself caught up in this without warning. Kyoko immediately shot out another question. Why are you here? That's right. Are you asking what Master had planned for me? Well, he wanted me to analyze the massive number of files stored on this uh. laptop. I believe the files are related to the school, but the protection on them is surprisingly strong. So it's taking me a little longer than I thought. But here's what Master must have been thinking. The fact that these files are protected so tightly means that, the con means that they contain some important secret. For example, perhaps the secret of this school. I was busy, I was busy struggling to make a sound. Kyoko pushed forward and asked her next question. How much longer till everything's unlocked? Um, it's gonna be a while, but I'm definitely gonna do it. So you guys should leave it to me. So because of how long it would take, he designed Alter Ego to handle the workload. <laughs> Smart. It also means that the work remains uninterrupted even after his death. Once again, Kyoko typed quickly. Keep it up, but do not let the mastermind keep it up, but do not let the mastermind notice you. That's right. Don't worry. I have a secret plan already, just in case. Actually, I can see what's going on using my built-in webcam. So if anyone's suspicious show up, <laughs> I can scream for help really loud. That is not a smart plan. It's a pretty basic plan, I have to yes, say. Yes, indeed. It's fine during the day, but nighttime is a different concern. Huh? Why? Are you okay with this? Have you forgotten? All of our rooms are completely soundproof. Once we close our doors, he can scream as loud as he wants, but we won't hear a thing. 
So I'm just trying to find out uh, everybody but Sakura because goddamn my dick would be uh, looking like SpongeBob just flattened. Uh, who try? Any other female trying to get their back blown out? Can't nobody hear nothing. And then you could leave out at nighttime. Uh, I'm open. Okay, this store is open. Okay, to females only. <laughs> Except for Sakura. I hate to tell you that, but uh, Sakura's the type of person that'll uh, destroy your dick. Like, that makes no sense. Okay, then. Okay, then. How about once it's nighttime, we each take turns guarding the dressing room? However, there's a good chance the master might wouldn't notice us all going in and out of the dressing room like that. What can we do? So then. Once nighttime comes, uh, once nighttime comes I'll, leave the, I'll leave the door to my room open. And there's no way I can miss also you go yelling. But, but, but if you leave your door open all night, it's man. It's true. There's a chance I may become a victim myself. I know. Uh, no, I doubt that. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, if you want to throw hands with Kyoko, be my fucking guest. You'll be on your ass. However. <laughs> but I'm not as weak as you might think. Hell yeah. You see, you see that hair? Any bitch with any, I'm trying to tell you, any bitch with long white hair could fuck you up. <laughs> I wouldn't go down without a fight. I assure you, there was an undeniable strength in her voice when she said that. She was totally confident she would be okay. That confidence was some was somewhat similar to Bakia's tone, but at the same time, different. Yeah, it, yeah, it had an entirely different feel to it for sure. Like someone who had dropped onto the like someone who had been dropped onto the battlefield versus someone who had been born on it. I feel like that was the fundamental difference. I was. I was pulled out of my thoughts by the voice suddenly emitting from the laptop. So, um, um, would you mind if I asked a few questions? Um, I haven't seen Master for a while. When you get, hold on, when you got here, uh, when you got here, I thought it was him, but it's Master. For a split second, Kyoko seemed to not know what to do, but she recovered just as fast and began quickly typing. Her answer was clear, concise, concise and direct. Kihiro is dead. Mondo killed him. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances of Master surviving this situation were very low. So I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> it's Somehow, like... I feel kind of sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. What? My man Kazuto Kirigaya from Sword Art Online would like to have a few words with you about that statement. Are you sure about Shall that? Shall we go? Anyways, that's enough for today. If we linger here for too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. And then Kyoko typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye bye. Yeah, I seem totally different from when we first arrived. You seem not beat. Was it just because he was following his programming? Or could he have actually been worried about it? Could it be? Um. What's wrong, hero? You know? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering if we might be able to get this laptop online. Then we could call for help for the outside. Mm. <laughs> but this is just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, what if we take it out of here and find somewhere that does have online <laughs> access? That's way too dangerous. The mastermind would find out in no time. Uh, um. Oh, yeah. That's true. I mean, I'm assuming they got security cameras. They also have a way to monitor any online activity that happens in the school, so... Once that laptop sinks up to the internet, it's all over in my eyes. Oh yeah, that's true. Indeed. There's no time for talking about, there's no time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Mm. This feels like a detour more than anything else, but I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. You know? So, should we get going? It's true. Indeed. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll be back. I promise. <sighs> uh, that heavy breathing in my ear sounded awful. Come on, Hifumi. Let's go. I suppose. Uh, okay. And we all left the dressing room. As soon as we were out in the hallway, Hina let out a great shout. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he had been waiting for us on the queue. <laughs> da 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 da! He has gained enough experience to level up. What's the matter? So, what was this awesome something? M Monokuma? What the heck? You guys all seem rem in remarkably good spirits. Has something happened? We've 
Let <laughs> me not. Let me not. I'm about to just scream. Um, no, nothing in particular. Yeah. Oh, keeping secret. No fair. I demand an exclusive interview. <laughs> deny. Deny. Super deny. What the heck? Oh, okay. Well, Monokuma's voice. All right. Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Say what? Do it. You mean like do it? Do it. <laughs> it's always Monokuma. Damn it. <laughs> When Lou comes in, it's two people you count on. He fooled me and Monokuma, damn it. Huh? Wait, what? What do you mean, do it? Do yes. it? Yes. Yes. Ew, gross. You said do Just it. Just the worst. What? You said it first? <laughs> we were talking about going to the bathhouse. We, ha we have not had a chance to relax in some time. Uh huh? huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> so we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. He no one to match for us, and that's why we're all so pleased. Huh? Yeah, that's right. Speaking of which, mm -hmm. okay, boys, why don't you go? Why don't you go back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on. Oh, jeez. What are you gonna do, right? We all fair and square. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate to come up with that ruse. Her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls decided to head back into the oh. dressing room. Um, uh, um, damnation! Not to get it. Nothing, damn it! We totally lost another day without take without getting to take my first bath here. Uh, um. Um. How long have we been in this school? Uh, let's see. All the way up to Sayaka's death, that would have been three to four days, and then this would be like anywhere between seven to eight. Nigga, you ain't shower for a week. Yo, get your fat ass in the shower. <laughs> Yeah, but tomorrow for sure. We'll definitely get the we'll definitely get that bath tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall now? Hey. Okay, so my mom decided to be an asshole. But uh, yeah, back to what I was talking about. Uh, let's talk about all the females who can fuck you up in that locker room. Uh, Kyoko, definitely. Uh, Hina, not so much. Uh, who else? Sakura, nigga. I like setting beers against Krillin. It's an unfair fight. Uh, he fooled me. I say he fooled me. Uh, Celeste, not really. Um, damn, I don't even know all the females that's left. Uh, shit. I think everybody else can't for real, but Sakura and Kyoko would fuck y'all up. Wah -wah? But what about your man's fantasy? I'm not sure a real man's fantasy should be about spying on girls and stuff. Plus, I kind of want to live longer. So, yeah. It should be more about your hopes or your dreams of adventure or whatever. But anyways, I'm not going to spy on him. Kind of I see. I can't even describe my bitter disappointment. That primo fan service could have been yours. We headed back to the dining hall, leaving Monokuma standing there alone. But to be honest, he and I was a little reluctant to turn down the offer. As a lot of you would. <laughs> fantasy. It's like fantasy. My fantasy. Ugh. So I guess you dig the real thing just like any other guy, huh? Mm -hmm. The only reason I care is because it's a good reference to, for creating figurines. A real life woman is useless to me, but looking at their looking at their naked form might be okay. Maybe. No way. If the girls heard you say that, we all be dead meat for sure. Is there only, is there really only four guys left? Shit! What the fuck? What happened? Like, I just thought about that. There's only, like, four guys left. <laughs> like, uh, like, it's Hiro, Hifumi, Bakia, and Makoto. Damn, I could have sworn we had, like, more guys. What the f- Oh, and, uh, Taka. That, that, that nigga, can you really count him? That nigga's in a, is like, in a catatonic mental state. <laughs> Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing and busy voices of growing louder. The girls have finished their baths and enjoyed us in the dining hall. You got it. Oh man, what a nice bath. This is fine. Did you get a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time? What a true pleasure. Indeed. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, I like to make myself a nice protein coffee, but... <laughs> Sorry, no time for that. So in the end... That's what I figured. Huh? huh? Actually... We were just saying about how... We were just saying in the bath about how time... How, how it was about time for you to get up to something. Because... How to show y'all happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that go, would never let that pass for long. Mm. 
You're all so terrible My to me. My entire Everyone's existence. So Everyone's so cold and mean. Even after I got presents for you all. Presents. Well now, well now, well oh, now, well now. Have I got your attention? Bitch, you been had my attention. Now you slightly got my interest. What you talk about? <laughs> then let's head to the gym where your presents See await. See ya later. No question. No dilly dallying. Get a move on, and everything will become clear. Oh. Um... What is it? What are you scheming this time? It would seem... He's probably gonna repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However... It's okay. We have Alter Ego. And I'm sure he'll... And I'm sure he'll find something that'll help us. So for Correct. now... So for now... We'll just have to endure it. Come on what may. Yeah. I thought you were gonna make me walk there. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. But when we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? To be kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all be dead. But Bakia, when did you, did you get here early? <laughs> did you forget how to walk? Is this why you're late? It's simple, right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> <laughs> the same as always, I see. Her on the other hand, Oh, fuck. Back to normal. Boo! Bring Jill back. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, she's back to her DB... She's, de she's back to her Debbie Down herself, huh? Hmm. I heard what sounded like a sneeze, and she was back to her old self. <laughs> so she goes from maniac to depressive whenever she sneezes? Seems kind of late to add that into the mix. <laughs> what the what? heck? Why does everyone keep making fun of me? I hope you all win the lottery and get hit by a bus. I mean, statistically speaking, you're more likely to get hit by lightning trying to cash in that uh, lottery ticket, but eh. And I see she wants, to, she wants me to live just a little bit longer. <laughs> so, when you want to say something mean, then you can talk. Well. Huh? Anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... I'm back! <laughs> you guys? It looks like... <clears throat> Damn. It looks like everyone's here. So then, let's get started. What? Come on, out with it. What kind of motive do you have prepared for us this time? However... Whatever you subject us to, we will not okay. break. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. We're not gonna lose to you ever again. Come on! You don't have to get so defensive. Calm down. I decided to change things up a bit this time. Until now, I've been using the whoosh of the North Star to get you all moving. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta use the sun to light a fire under someone's butt. Without further ado, I give you this! Ten million dollars! Uh... That's... Shit, that's a lot of money, man. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Ten million? Bitch, I don't even got 500k in GTA. <laughs> I've prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. Um... Um, we, we will not break for money, but I'm not saying some of you won't make it out if you're alive. I'm saying we won't break, but at the same time, like, uh, I can get the fuck out of the ghetto with that type of money. What do you think? It's 10 million bucks. 10 million smackaroos. Fucking motherfuckers gotta die tonight. Tonight. It's like totally wow, wow, wow. Am I right? Monica, I want my, I want my entire check. I want two separate suitcases holding both, holding uh five million a piece. Uh, I will be out this bitch tomorrow morning. You can catch me in the, you catch me in the, uh, you can catch me in the uh lunch room or the dining hall uh sipping coffee with the bloody knife. So that's the motive you prepared. So that's the motive you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is hmm. 
It's not nearly enough. Fuck you, Bakia. All of us ain't rich, damn it. Some of us would like to see a thousand dollars hit our bank account, okay? At least a thousand. Some of us would like to see a thousand dollars hit our bank account. It's true. When it comes to motive, money, cert money certainly is the gold standard to speak. Whatever is in the mystery no well, whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. Mm. But, but what are you saying? There's no way we kill each other for money. Vicky, speak for yourself. Ten million dollars. Uh, damn. Hitmen don't even pay ten million. Some of them pay as low as a thousand. Of course. She's right. You can't simply purchase a purchase. It's like, um, Agent 47 would like to have a fucking word with you. Um, everybody who I've ever collected a bounty on in GTA would like to have a word with you. Uh, um... You can say 10 million or however much. I don't give a crap for serious. Yeah, that's all right. Whether it's 10 million or any amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to I act can't so wait. tough. I can't wait. The most important thing is to live a pure, moral, communal life. Panakuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of money. Um, there's nothing to worry about, right? No one would kill a friend for that money. I don't know. Some of y'all, I don't know. Let's just say. If Monokuma asked me why the burlap sack I was holding had a mysterious liquid coming out of it, let's just say if I opened the bag and let whatever was inside roll on the floor, uh, some of you would not be too happy with it. Hmm. Have you quickly forgotten the lesson from the last time? You can't judge others by your own standards. <laughs> yeah, there might be someone here who's having money problems. <laughs> Personally, I've earned over a million dollars from my gambling efforts. My life is comfortable, bitch. But that's the thing though, you're gambling. So at some point you could, just as fast as you want it all, you could lose it all. Uh, I'm telling you. Sophie, what about you? You know nothing. I'm super pop, I'm a super popular content creator. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. Yeah. And then, hey. just stop pressing others about their personal finances. It's ugly. <laughs> uh, uh, ugly? <laughs> don't worry. Either way, whatever's going to happen will happen without warning. That is the nature of our game. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Yo, have y'all ever been bit by bed bugs before? Them motherfuckers stab your ass up all night. Hmm. <laughs> Just throw that random exposition out there. Somebody probably gonna watch this part of the video and be like, wait a minute, TRD, what the fuck you talking about, nigga? You got bed bugs? No. I stayed over somebody's house who had bed bugs or a bed bug. Bit, bit me the fuck up all throughout the night. That shit was uh, uncomfortable. Had me thinking I had mosquitoes on me. No. Damn, actually, because I was sleeping on had a bed bug on it, and that shit was uh, uncomfortable as fuck. Huh. It's that time already, huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to make sure nothing happens to Alter Ego. But just because my door is open, don't assume that I'm making an easy because... target. Or the predator may finally find itself as the prey. Her voice was calm and composed, but it was clear she meant what she said. You know? Okay, okay. Let's everyone head back to our room. How rooms. about that? And don't think about the whole money thing, got it? Good. Then let's break. Mm. How was that? Pretty good, right, Taka? The face you make when somebody puts $10 million in front of you, you gotta say no. <laughs> Yo, you can meme the shit out of Taka's face and not have an issue. You can meme the shit out of Taka's face with zero problems at this point. Hmm. Right. Oh, man. As soon as I got back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money. There's no way that's going to get anyone to kill someone. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. Oh, wrong thing. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason seemed completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's the lesson we learned. But this time, this time, it's different. I'm sure of it. 
because the program the hero left behind holds our ego. We have we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. As long as we have that, I'm sure. Skipping the Monokuma Theater. Uh, I forgot how to. Found it. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Ah, I did it again. God Get it. ready to greet another beautiful day! Well then, I guess we should head to the dining hall in the next episode, because Jesus Christ, I'm ready to end this episode. Not because it's super long, but um, it probably isn't too... I'm not gonna lie, this episode is probably gonna be longer because I did more of tank, more of a tangent, but uh, you guys won't know that because I'm gonna cut out like all them damn tangents. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this episode right here. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, why don't you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. When we come back, uh, we're gonna find out what the fuck is going on today. And uh, also, quick side note, um, yeah, I might add the, I might add back the, um, the, you know what, I'll talk about it in the next video as soon as we start it up. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, why don't you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, this is Charlie Play signing off saying peace. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Dostavinia.